Hello, how are you? Uh, John Sandville here with Bell, and, and I just want to touch, touch base with you in regards to what the rest of the year is going to look like. We've been hearing lots of questions, and I'm going to do my best to answer them now. So the first question is all about graduation. Will there be a graduation? Yes, there's going to be a graduation. And the class of 2020 will have a, an innovative, exciting, and memorable event uh, that we are all going to be proud of. Uh, we're, we're listening to your input, looking through the survey results, and, and I promise you in the coming days you're going to hear from Mr. Conley and the, and the high school staff about the details of graduation, but no fear there will be a graduation. One of the questions I've been hearing is, what about students moving up to middle or high school or, or other transitions? I promise you that as soon as our buildings are open, we are gonna bring students and staff in so we can have those traditional transitional experiences. A question that I'm hearing a lot, how can my child stay involved in extracurriculars, sports, activities that he or she loves? Uh, I'm gonna turn this over to Pat Crater, our supervisor of athletics to answer that question. So the PIAA has canceled the spring sports season, but we uh, still continue to support our athletes and connect with our students as uh, athletics is open for business at Unionville. And uh, we're recreating the social space that exists in sports, such as uh, that time in the locker room or on the bus rides or the sideline. We're sending our athletes tips for how to be well during the stay at home order. Uh, but ultimately, we miss our students. We hope that everybody's well. And uh, a special shout out to our seniors, the class of 2020. How are we keeping kids engaged? I'm going to turn this over to John Nolan to answer that question. Online learning engagement um, depends on several things. Teachers will continue to strive to differentiate, making sure that lessons are um, tied to a student's um, level and pace of learning to the degree possible. Also, student choice is critical. Students have the opportunity to decide what they're going to research, how they're going to show what they know, what resources they may want to use to enhance their learning. Certainly that is critical to student engagement, student um, investment and excitement about the learning uh, activity. Also, uh, teachers have the ability to do some asynchronous learning to record uh, their uh, lessons and their instructions so that students can watch it at a time that's most convenient to them and to their family, helping them establish routines based on family needs. Synchronous learning or live instruction can happen as well online and it is important to student engagement. Whole class discussions and activities certainly can lead to an in-depth and very um, engaging a learning experience for students. Certainly the resources available online that teachers can help students tap into, well, there's a plethora of what's out there and I think that that allows students to maybe be further engaged than, than maybe your normal brick and mortar situation. Also I already mentioned the ability to record lessons. Uh, students also can uh, utilize tutorials and other enrichment resources to enhance their learning. So in the end, we do hope that online learning is as engaging um, as it can be in regards to uh, as compared to brick and mortar. Uh, we do know that your partnership is critical to us as we move forward. Um, please reach out to your students teacher and have students reach out as well if there's questions or there's things not working. We depend on this to make sure that we continue to provide a quality educational experience for your child. Thank you. This is Kit the Curriculum Dog. I don't think I've ever introduced this formally to our community. The Kit is a very smart dog, but sometimes she does struggle to learn, whether it be online or in person. Kit, would you like a treat? Can you sit? Can you sit? Very good, Kit. All right. Well, I take that back. Face to face did work this time. What is chocolate, beautiful, and calorie free? Well, that would be me. And yes, I am smiling. Woof. So in true Jeopardy fashion, the answer is Daisy. Question, how many nicknames does Rudy have? The answer is five. And my favorite is Rapid Radar Rudy. The forecast for today, rain. Woof. 
Well, I hope you found this Q&A a little bit fun, a little bit lighthearted, and, and maybe a bit informative as well. Uh, these, are, these are uncharted waters that we're in, uh, but together uh, I hope that we can all uh, keep calm and carry on, and uh, we'll, we will get through this together. Have a great evening.